If you have always wondered how to do a French plait, this is the video for you. Hi, welcome to my channel. I'm Katie and this is Gracie and I'm a mum of three. On my channel, I share videos about finding you, finding your style and getting organised while you're at it. I post every single Sunday, so please do subscribe and leave a comment down below so that I can get to know you. So yes, I have Gracie with me today. She's going to be my model because so many of you have requested this video. On Instagram, if you don't already follow me, there is my handle, go follow me. Um, on my stories, I will often share the hairstyles I do for the girls when they are going to school. One of the main things that I do in varying styles is use the French plait. And so many of you message me and say, I don't know how to do it. So I'm gonna start off with the basics and then lead on to maybe a, a bit more of a complicated style towards the end. So if you are completely new to this, hopefully I will do it in a way that will show you how to do it. And if you think, yeah, I, I could do a French plait, then I'll show you something that you can do to just make it a little bit more interesting. Are you ready? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So first of all, if I just share with you the tools that I use every single day. This is actually a back combing brush, but because of the really tight bristles, it's really good for pulling the hair um, smooth. Um, when the girls do their ballet shows and things, I'll also use hairspray and stuff. But on a day-to-day -day basis, just it really helps create a smooth ponytail. I also have one of these Tupperware boxes that have just got all the different bobbles and like the smaller little um what do you call these loom bands that um are really good for tighter hairstyles and then i've got different grips like these are the kirby grips and then i also have bobby pins somewhere or other and obviously i've got a brunette and i've got a blonde so i've got the special bands for them and then just a hairbrush um this is a cheap old one but it actually is really gets those knots out without too much pain so they are my tools okay so if we just start off with the basic plait so that just to remind you a basic plait if i just do a, a small one here because this is the foundations of doing a french plait so a basic plait you have your three sections and you're always going over over into the middle over into the middle over into the middle over 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 all the way down okay so now that we've just confirmed that we know how to do a basic plait we're going to start doing a very basic french plait so you have your three sections you start off exactly the same so i do two crossovers okay so i have exactly a normal start like a normal plait then it it does involve a lot of holding uh with your fingers for this section in normally i would cross that over but i'm going to take a section of hair and add it to that thing so i've got my the normal plait bit and i've added a bit in now i'm going to cross that over normally that one would cross over next but i'm going to take another section of hair and add it then i cross it over now the same with this bit normally it would cross over but before i do it i'm going to take another section of hair then I cross it over. Then it would be this one's turn. But I'm going to take another section of hair, add it to it. Now I cross it over. Takes a lot of fiddly fingers. Then I'm going to take some more hair, cross that one over. Take some more hair, cross it over. So as you're going down, you're, before you cross over, you just add a little bit more hair. This one, add some more hair. It gets easier towards the bottom because the hair is nearer to you. And that's the last bit. And then, sorry Grace, just push you forward. It just becomes 
a normal plait like that. Okay, so using this brush, you can see how well it grips the hair. I'm just gonna take a section here and I'm gonna show you how you would do it right from the top of the head. So you start off with your three pieces. Start off with a normal plait. Then you start adding. So there's a piece to there. Cross that over. And you can see you can get quicker and sort of, once you've crossed it over, you're already taking the next piece. A lot of people will add sort of a gummy hair, not a gel, but um, like a hair, I can't even think what the word is, what is it, hair, like a gummy, you know what I'm talking about, I don't even know what I'm talking about. Um, that this helps you to grip because uh, it's slightly damp with the hair gum. Um, but I can't be bothered, to be quite honest with you. So I'm quite happy with a looser, more natural look. So another one that I would do would be pigtail French plaits. And I would use my tool, it's got a nice pointy end to do that line down and separate out the hair. Get that bit out of the way and gather my first bit to divide into my three sections. Exactly the same, start like a normal plait, do two crossovers, then start getting the hair. So you take a bit, add it to this section. Cross that over to excuse my other children in the background making noise. Take a bit, add it to that section and cross it over. Take a bit, cross it over. Take a bit, cross it over. And obviously I've done so many that my fingers just know what to do. It will take practice. Cross it over. Take a bit and cross that over. Take the last bit, cross it over, and there you have one side done. Now, once you think you know what you're doing, you can try doing a half French plait, but actually, I think it might be easier than the full. So what you do is you gather your piece that's gonna make your three starting pieces, and you do your crossover, and all you do is you only take from the one side. So I'm gonna add that bit in and I'm gonna do my two crossovers. I'm not gonna take from this side. Add a piece in, crossover, crossover. Take a piece, crossover, crossover. And as you can see, this side is loose because obviously it's not being tied to these pieces here. This side has got the gathers. Did I do my crossovers? Crossovers, I think. I can't remember what I've done there. Take a piece. When you do this type of half, it's actually easier to, to make shapes because this side is free. So you can curl it up, do whatever, and just take longer sections. Or you can keep it pulled tight and it would go straight. I'm gonna try and loop it round because um, it's just more fun that way. So take a piece, loop it, loop it, take a piece, turn the head, cross over, cross over, take a piece, cross over, cross over, take the last piece, cross over, cross over. And you can see, you could quite easily then make that into a normal plait and you could even 
bring that plait all the way round. So. You could turn that into a, a nice, with pins, curl it right the way around like that. And you can see the gathers on one side, but this side is free to create a shape. Hopefully that has made sense. Here I've done a nice Elsa plait. So I've done the half braid all the way around and it just becomes a normal plait here. Um, and yeah, it's just fun, isn't it? It's fun having nice hairdos. And all our teachers are like, oh, look at your lovely hair. And it's just nice. It's nice to have that quality time. Just, it's nice. I don't know. I just really enjoy it. I enjoy doing it. It's fun. And it just makes sure they are knit free and <laughs> neat for the day. <laughs> Hopefully that was useful. I will be back next week with another upload. Bye.